going on guys? Adam here from A to Z Body Fitness and today we're just going to go over a few things on how you can actually add weight safely and how you can do it properly. So before we get into it, this is going to be a video more on how somebody who is underweight can actually put on weight and they can do it properly. This isn't going to be a video about bulking or shoving calories down your throat. I don't believe in bulking. I think it's stupid. You don't need to do it in order to build muscle. It doesn't have any effect on it, nor do you need to do it if you need to put on size because you're just going to put a lot of fat on your body. There's certain ways and there's proper ways to do things and that's not one of them. So the first thing we're going to talk about, I'm just going to get right into it. You need to have consistent meals every day. Okay, and the way you should start off is have breakfast, lunch, dinner. Okay, how do you measure that? Well, you eat what you're able to eat. You have, let's say, just as an example, you get up in the morning, you know, you're ready before you go to work, half an hour before you have to leave, whatever. Let's say you have an egg and a piece of bread with a touch of butter and a glass of water or orange juice. If that's too much for you, then you know, you can actually cut out the bread or you can get whole wheat bread, which has less calories. You can do white eggs instead. You want to find something that you're able to eat that you feel isn't too filling, but essentially is still enough food that allows you to feel comfortably full. Okay. And you want to do that with every meal. That's a safe way to gauge on how you're able to eat enough calories, get on a, cons a consistent regimen eating routine. That's going to start you off on the right path. That's going to allow you to gain weight because if you're not on a structured or a regimented eating routine and you're just eating at random times throughout the day, you're not going to put on the weight. You're not going to be able to essentially get more calories into your body and you're not going to put on more size, right? So you need to make sure that you're eating consistently throughout the day and you need to make sure that you're eating uh, a good amount of calories that makes you comfortably full, not over full. So if you're already doing that and you feel as though you're not gaining weight and you're not uh, putting on um, more size or you're not seeing the pounds go up on the scale, then you essentially just need to eat a little bit more. You can add a little bit more to each meal that you're already eating or one or two of them. Experiment with yourself and see what works for you. Or you can add another one in between, right? So one thing I did in the past that really worked for me is that every time I noticed um, my hunger went up, I would add a little bit more calories to a meal. Um, I wouldn't exactly measure it, but I would just essentially, let's say uh, I was having uh, two eggs in the morning with a piece of toast and a little bit of butter on top. I would add a little bit more white eggs, a few more calories into that meal. So I would add something small to either one meal or two meals that would allow me to essentially uh, be able to supplement my body with a, a little bit more calories over time. Even though it's something small that you're adding, it's still going to add in throughout the entire week if you're doing it consistently, which is why, like I said, you need to make sure you're having your breakfast, lunch, and dinner so that you know you're getting your calories in. And if you start to realize you're getting hungrier and you start to realize your appetite is increasing, then you start to add in a little bit more food to each meal or you add in a smaller meal or essentially a snack as well. Now, if you're looking to know how many calories you wanna increase by in order to gain more weight, if this is, so if you're again already eating three meals a day, you already are on a, a structured regimen, you want to essentially have anywhere between 50 to about 150 calories every day. Everybody's hunger and how much calories they break down is a little different. There's general statistics for everybody to follow, of course, but you want to essentially go between that range. You don't want to do too much because you don't want to have to put on more fat that you're going to need to burn off, right? So you want to add a little bit of calories per day at a time and you want to essentially do it in a slow process while you're working out, of course, while, while you're doing cardio, while you're weight training so that you can burn off the excess amount of calories that you don't need while still putting on a bit of size as well. And then the last thing I want to add is, so I've gotten this question many times before from people about adding, getting like a, a bulk shake or some sort of a weight gainer. And the thing is, you can do that if you want to. I mean, you can go buy a weight gainer or some sort of a supplement that's going to have, you know, an amount of calories in it and you can supplement that into a shake and have that. And that's fine. But that should be 
on top of what you're already eating. It shouldn't be used to supplement an actual meal or food. And the reason why I say that is because you want to be able, if you're taking your health seriously and you're taking building your body and getting healthier and all of that uh, a lot more serious and you want to become the best that you can be, then you want to learn your nutrition, right? You want to rely on food that you have to eat, not a shake that you have to constantly just go buy and supplement and, and down all the time, which again, will have calories, but you want to understand what your body's going to need and the foods that it's going to have to take in order for you to put on the weight to get to the goal that you want or the size you want or whatever it may be, right? You want to be able to learn everything that you can about that area that you're trying to get good at. And it's no different from fitness and nutrition and working out and learning the exercises. All these things are, are basically, they come together to make you the best person that you can be. That's essentially why I wouldn't suggest using one of those. But again, if you're, everybody's life is different. If you're on the go and you have no time and you legitimately cannot make your meals the night before, for whatever reason, or you're so busy that you, you, you can't just sit down and you can't eat. I'm not gonna say no, not to have those for sure, grab it, supplement it, but you still need to maintain within a, a slight calorie increase. You just still don't wanna have too much because if you put on too much, then you're gonna put on too much fat and you're gonna have to work even harder to burn that off. So you wanna take a slow, progressive increase over time with your caloric intake and you wanna make sure you're doing it daily and weekly and stay consistent with it. All right guys, that's the end of the video. If you liked what you saw, comment down below, let me know what you thought. Subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you guys in the next video.